Hello everybody and welcome to episode 76 of the Lamont Odyssey. The uh, last episode, the famous uh, 75th uh, celebration, unfortunately didn't go quite to plan, but I've moved on a long way since then and uh, I'd like to talk to you about my first few months in the season of 2023-24 and uh, most of it has been disappointing to be honest. Uh, we'll begin with the league. Uh, we've won five of our games of a possible ten with two draws and three defeats. Uh, we were doing much worse than this. We only won one of our first six games which I'll explain in a moment but uh, things have started to pick up a little bit and we're now on a reasonable 17 points but the main target is to get another top three like we did last year and uh, with the newly promoted Lille and the defending champions Ren on top form just like PSG and Marseille it's going to be a very tough ask to uh, get in and amongst them. Uh, the team that denied us the title, Sanatien, are looking appalling this season. They really do uh, look all out of sorts. Um, but apart from that, it's only Montpellier really doing badly in terms of decent teams. So it's a very competitive league this year. And uh, just before I mention, I just want to talk about the transfers since uh, the preseason was uh, way after the last episode. So uh, good news was uh, Umar Gomez came in as planned. Uh, he's on 23 and a half grand a week, and he hasn't quite made an impact yet. But Rakto Jovicic and Roberto Robert Jovanovic to provide competition. He's starting to settle into the club now, and I hope uh, we can make even better use out of him. But the big news is I spent the uh, vast majority of my transfer budget on none other than Du Shuang, the very person I lost several years ago to Juventus. They got bored of him, I suppose. They uh, didn't see the any reason to keep him in fact he's been very good for us uh, from last season meant it was well worth splashing 3.2 million out on my former youth graduate and uh, bringing him back to the club um, so I'm absolutely delighted he's back uh, he picked up an injury he is quite injury prone he's just back now and uh, he's enjoying himself providing uh, excellent backup and uh, first team abilities when needed um, <clears throat> So what else do I need to mention? Yes, uh, the other transfers. Uh, as a consequence of this, I let Adrian Delaunay go out to the Bundesliga and play for Hanover. Um, it's probably going to be his last season at the club, um, as I'm not really interested in keeping him for much longer. Uh, we have other loanies gone out as well. Uh, Bisha was out on loan, but I had to cancel it due to more injury problems for the club. Uh, Benoit Joubert is a good player, so we'll talk about him. But uh, other players that want to leave at the end of the season, uh, some of the day one delights, Abdel Hakim Amrani, I'm going to let him go at the end of the season. He's been a wonderful servant, but his position at Cam is pretty much uh, occupied by three younger, hungrier players. So unfortunately, I have to let go of this legend and uh, celebrate his time at the club. And Anthony Delad has also been fed up at the club. Uh, it's time for him to go as well. He's a fabulous asset. But uh, even though I'm not playing him in striker, um, he's still able to score goals. But I think another club would make use of this uh, you know, one-club man. But it's a real tragedy. Uh, he wants to go now. But uh, that's the way. Um, in terms of our injuries, um, we've got... Where is he? Uh, Diaw has been injured for a long time, so he's only coming back. Zhang Suessi was tragically injured um, in one of our early games of the season. I think it was in the Champions League. He got injured. So, uh, devastating uh, consequences for that one. Uh, Bruno Bonan got injured. Du Schwang got injured. Uh, Isvan Orban was injured. Uh, geez, a lot of players were injured. Uh, Shebe Shrivers was injured. Um, uh, Amarish Telly and Martino were injured. Um, I think... Uh, who else... I think Misho as well was injured. So a lot of injuries that are just starting to go away again. But uh, now at last, let's talk about the fixtures and what exactly has been going on since the start of the year. Um, our preseason was generally okay. Uh, just the two, the one blemish against Hanover uh, to talk about there. Uh, the beginning of the season was pretty disappointing uh, with Auxerre and Toulouse. Very, very bad draws. Uh, we'd only taken the lead in this game and then we gave away a penalty late on and even more criminally we drew 2-2 with Toulouse when we had the lead uh, earned twice but then we gave away another feckin' penalty and that cost us three extremely valuable points and then the Champions League were dealt a double uh, defeat uh, Tottenham Hotspur just too good 
even though he gave them really good competition. They injured Zhang Suessi and got an away goal. Um, but then we tried too hard to attack in their White Hart lane and were beaten 4-2. But I'm afraid uh, they were way too good for us and they drew Marseille in their group. So um, that's okay. Uh, we did beat Laval in between. Uh, Jeremy Kieffer scoring his first senior goal. Anthony Derlard coming off the bench as well. Um, I tried my new 5-3-2 formation against uh, Marseille and I was easily beaten as we had severe defensive issues. So uh, I was very annoyed with that. And Jose Eddie Carlos got himself sent off. And then one of the most bullshit results you're ever likely to see. Uh, Leon got a lucky win despite having a man sent off in the 22nd minute and another man injured in the 66th minute. They still managed to beat us. And I was absolutely disgusted by that. Uh, we started off our Europa League campaign excellently with a win over Cagliari. Just the one goal from substitute Jovanovic. Uh, Lens, we beat them 2-1 in a crucial game. But in another you know, must-not-lose tie, we were beaten by that man, Harry Seferovic. He was our thorn in the side in his Marseille days. And now he's come back to the Liga to make my life a misery again. And we were beaten 3-2. 3-0 against Guignon, excellent result. I have no complaints about this. Jordan Martin really getting amongst the goals with 5 and 7, which is absolutely insane. But he put in an ultimatum for me, which is quite heartbreaking. He says if we don't win the league in the next two seasons, then he wants to leave. And that is a huge, huge uh, problem for me. I don't want to lose my greatest ever regen. And... Uh, even though he has a huge price tag on him now, I don't want to lose him. And uh, we'll be very concerned if he does go. Uh, disaster against Petrolul, the fourth seed in our group. We went 2-0 up at half time, but we let our uh, complacency set in. And they scored twice in the last 16 minutes to uh, draw. So that put us under a little bit more pressure. But we played excellently against Bastia and Stad Reims with... Uh, Bryce for Chebech Rivers and Jordan Martin as long as Omar Gomez in between. Bastia 2-0 there. And then Zaragoza, we failed to break them down in a pretty uneven game to be honest. They deserve to win but we held out and uh, the group um, that we're in looks like this. One win and two draws. Uh, it was enough to keep us top as we're unbeaten but we really have to improve and uh, beat our home opponents at home uh, Zaragoza and Petrolo that'll be sh surely enough to get us through if we win those two games we don't need to worry about Cagliari um, if things go to plan but uh, we don't want to be eliminated from the Europa League at all we want to give it our best shot and ensure we win that competition and as well we have to defend our coup de la league with a home tie against Lens and uh, there's a look at the rest of the fixtures list uh, lots of games to go um, in terms of our finances, uh, you can see we're losing money. The fact that we lost the Champions League revenue is a big blow. Um, but our attendances are generally very good, uh, much better than the past because we have more uh, we've more season ticket holders, we have more uh, you know regular fans coming in. I used to have a problem filling half the stadium, but it's much better now. We're able to fill 87.4 of the stadium which even though it's only the 10th best attendance in the league, that's still a huge promise and uh, something I want to build upon yet again in the future. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the majority of the episode, guys. Um, I will end it in just a moment, but you can see here, we are starting to improve in both departments, goal scoring and conceding the least amount of goals. That was our strength in, uh, in our last season title bid, but didn't work out. And... Uh, yeah, we still have plenty to look forward to. Player value is definitely rising, such as Eddie Carlos and Zhang. Uh, Siebe Shrivers is quite high. Um, we've got youth prospects coming up again, but we definitely need to get goals uh, thick and fast because uh, this is our real problem this season. It was bad last year, but this season it's really bad. As Jordan Martin is our top scorer ahead of Siebe Shrivers, but I think he's starting to cop on. He's playing very well, and I hope... He'll do well. Fusion you see say has three. Jovanovic two. And our young men, Kiefer and Misho, only have one. As well as Jovicic, Orban, Gomez, Diwar, Zwesi, Kulabali, Darad and Msakni. So I really want to improve the goal scoring tally. Uh, Ali Bamba's playing very well. Uh, Zhang would have been playing well if he was still fit. Jose de Carlos playing well. Cormier is our uh, new right back from the Youth Academy. And he's doing extremely well in Yamayogo's absence um, but he's just back from injury Baldry playing well Fai playing well so a lot of players 
playing excellently. It's just we couldn't get the results, and uh, just something we'll have to sort out in future. But um, we'll just have to uh, come back later in the season, probably after the end of the Europa League games. There's, there's a long stretch between then and uh, you know this uh, winter break in the league. So we'll hopefully have something to talk about. But we really do have to advance in the Europa League, or else I'll be disappointed. Um, in terms of what else can I talk about? Um, I don't think there really is anything to be talking about, um, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, I think that's it, guys. I'm totally uh, lost for ideas. But uh, if there's anything else like that you want to know about uh, when this episode goes online, then just let me know. We have must-win games coming up against Lens, Sanatian, and Zaragoza. So I hope we uh, get through those okay. And... Uh, Any other questions, let me know, and I'll speak to you again as soon as possible. Bye for now.